down to the bulk cargoes, the, the liquid bulk. The liquid bulk, they move mainly through pipelines. Okay? The liquid bulk cargoes, they move through pipelines. So you see pipes on the deck of the ships as uh, Actually, a bulk carrier in a dry bulk. So, with the, 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 let me describe the dry bulk. With the dry bulk, when they come, like this ship, she will open the hatches. The, the, the stacks here are not cranes for lifting the cargo. These cranes here, or derricks here, are only for lifting their stores, ship stores, and other things onto the ship. They are not purposely cited for the working of cargoes in the ship. So when they come in, they would open their hatches, and then you have either um, you have a conveyor belt. The conveyor will bring the cargo in, whether green or iron or, or any bulk cargo, and they'll be pouring it. This one is uh, the loading cuckoo in a ship in Takuradi port. Bulk, they load it like that. In former times, they, they usually had to load them in cuckoo bags which meant that people will have to go in and be throwing their bags, stacking them, arranging them nicely. But these days, they tend to load them in bulk like this, or they load them in container, um, um, grain carrying containers. They are constructed in such a way that they can carry the grains without them getting them wet. And then the problem with these cargoes, like uh, cocoa beans or coffee beans, soya beans, all those ones, they are not exactly totally dry. So if you don't carry them well, they will get uh, rotten on the way or they will begin to sprout, grow. Okay. So you have to be very, very careful with, with them. You have to have very powerful ventilation system to be able to carry these cargo. So here they are pouring the green. If they come in on conveyor belts and drop, they are dropped in. Sometimes the conveyor belts can be uh, something like this, okay, where the cargo comes in, is transported, and it is it's coming through the spout into the ship. The bulk carriers, sometimes some of the cargoes, for example, clinker, when they are loading and discharging clinker and some other types of dry bulk, they tend to use what we call grabs. This is a grab. This machine here is called a grab. And then the grabs will come in, scoop the cargo. So when, but the way they are constructed, you see that when they, they are loading and discharging, if it is a dusty cargo like clinker, clinker is cement, loose uh, in powder, cement powder. When they are like that, you see a lot of dropping, and if you go to bed um, 11 and 12, and they're, they're up to 16 there, and they are doing this work, it's so dusty. The whole place is covered in dust because of the way they are always pouring about, and when they are also released into the hoopers, they splash out and there's always dust all over the place. So you have the, the grabs for discharging, there's a grab, that's how it looks like. So when it comes in, it opens up and then scoops it in between and pulls it like this. This is a grab working, this is an open grab. And then when it scoops up, this is how it looks like. And then it drops it into the hooper. This is the hooper. Okay. But the way it is, because the hooper is open, it tends to allow the dust to spray into the air. It's very, very dusty whenever they are working these types of cargoes. Then when you come to the liquid bulk, the liquid bulks are always stored in tanks, what they call this area here, they call it a tank farm. Okay. You see so many tanks. If you go to Rotterdam, for example, they have a lot of these tank farms in their uh, oil jetty terminal. So then the refineries, you have all these stacks here are refineries. Okay. They have stacks here all over the place. The refineries, 
the crude oil comes in, they discharge it to the refineries, they refine it and put them in the tanks, and then in other ships, uh, petroleum product carriers would come and transport it as gasoline or uh, aviation fluid or uh, fuel or uh, what do you call it? Petrol and so on. They come and take them away. So you have the tank farms and the oil tanker will come in here by this, this is a, let, let me, I want to show you an example of a tank farm, uh, the, the connection. Wave, yes. Please, what is a jetty? A jetty with the, these oil um, cargoes, they don't need a whole bed. They only need just a small place for their pipes to be connected. So usually it will be just a small a strip of uh, land. And usually because these ships, the oil tankers, they are very huge ships, they can't come too close because of their draft. So they will be standing, you see an arm like that stretching into the sea. And it's just a strip of land. It's not a bed. So they call it a jetty. pipelines from the shore, they couple the pipelines from the shore to the, the ship using some flexible tubes. And so when they couple them, then the oil can flow through. So the oil might be in the tank farm and then depending on which oil it is and the ship there to carry it, then it flows in. When If it is the crude oil that is brought, then the crude oil also flows in onto the shore to the, to the refineries for refining. To show you this time, they have a, a link here, usually at the center. Yes, this one, rusting. No, no, that's the color. The, the, I noticed that the uh, chemical tankers tend to like this color for their, I don't know why, but they like this color for their. The piping and the whole deck. So you have the whole body of the ship, and like some ships where if you go on board, maybe the ship's hull, the sides will be grey, the deck will be black, then the structures on top will be uh, orange or I mean, light yellow or something like your wall here. Okay. But with the chemical tankers, most of the time the color they use is this orange. That's a chemical tank actually. It has so many PV valves, on, pressure pressure vacuum valves. On it. Around this midship section is where they usually have the, the, the coupling arms. So they'll bring it and then join the two together around here. Okay. This travel carrier we done talk uh, travel, this is travel carrier, not a talk. Then you have the badges, the river badges also. They, they usually river barges would not have any gears of their own. They are not big enough for that. So they would definitely depend on the gears from either the ship or the shore to, to do their cargo handling. And when you come to the rural ships, rural ships, the cargoes go in by themselves. They don't need any gears to help them. Either they are coming on trucks or trailers or by forklifts. They are taking in and or they are coming off by themselves. But for the, the rural uh, carriers that do very long ocean passages, they usually bring the, the cargoes in and then they have to lift the cargoes off the trucks and send the trucks ashore so that when they go to the discharge port, then new truck heads, articulator heads, would have to come in and take the cargoes away. In that case, then they use the forklifts to be doing the loading the, the, the stacking of the cargoes within the ship's uh, body. Okay. And you have a typical rural uh, cargo. You see all the, the trucks and uh, vehicles here ready to enter. The, tomorrow, if you want to 
no Monday, if we have time, and we watch the movie on the Singapore port. I have it. If they, they, they load it in such a way as to be driving all around, some of them do that anyway. They will drive all around just like the car park when you go to um, the, um, that car park at Accra between the Standard Chartered Bank and the Barclays Bank where we used to have the GNTC. Okay. Hop. See that there's a big car park there. When you go inside, you have to go round and round, climbing up to the top. Some of the um, rural vessels operate like that. But with most of them, they have their stacking the racks. So they, it comes, and then they, when they finish loading the cars onto it, then they push it up. Then the next one will come, they push it up until they have them arranged okay, vertically, which is how they are. Yeah, these are the, the, usually the train ferries. They, they come, they look different if you see, they, they look a bit different from the other type of rural uh, uh, cars, uh, rural uh, vessels. Okay. The, the, these ramps will come down and they have train uh, railings on them. They would